Hey guys, the Bill here. Hope everyone is doing great. Fatal Fury is making a comeback we've been waiting for for a very long time. With the new game announced at last EVO, with a release, well, we don't know when, but there are some certain rumors saying it's 2023. Now, a lot of things are riding on the new Fatal Fury. I'm not gonna call it Garu 2, but it is a Garu sequel because it is a Fatal Fury sequel. And this sequel needs to have certain elements for it to survive in this crazy, crowded market of fighting games that's going to be filled with Street Fighter 6 and other fighting games. Now, before I get started, a gentle reminder to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you are a fan of SNK lore and stories, then you have to check the King of Fighters Story Explained where I go in details about the lore of the King of Fighters series from before the King of Fighters 24 up to the King of Fighters 15. This series was approved by SNK and I would be very grateful if you guys check it out. Now let's go back to business. So Fatal Fury sequel, the new Garo or Garo 2 is coming out maybe next year and it's the sequel we've been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. We don't know much about what to expect from this new game, but again, this is gonna come out after Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 is turning everyone's head and a lot of people are talking about how beautiful the graphics are, how extensive the single player content is, and above all, how awesome the gameplay and netcode is. So, Fatal Fury is going to compete with Street Fighter 6. So, in, and I'm, I'm a big SNK fan, as you know. That's my, why my name is New You Now, and I'm a big fan of Fatal Fury. So I'm gonna talk about what I think this new Fatal Fury game needs to have in order to succeed in this glorious, crowded, but not enough market of fighting games. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is that the game will need to have a great looking graphics. It needs to be that sort of game that once you show the trailer, everybody's gonna say, when is this game coming out? I want it in my life right now. Fatal Fury has always been an innovative uh, title. When it came out, the first game when it came out in 1991, it really gave some detailed graphics at the time. It really made people look like, wow, this looks amazing. I'm not even gonna talk about the story yet, just the look, the personality oozing from the screen about these characters, about Terry throwing his hat and all that. Remember, there was no Street Fighter 2 at the time, there was only Street Fighter 1, and look how much, how better the first Fatal Fury is. And this is what we need for the comeback. Of Fatal Fury. We need some sort of beautiful looking graphics. I don't know if it's going to be um, cell shaded graphics, realistic graphics, but it needs to be something that people will look at and say, this looks amazing. Same thing that happened with Street Fighter 6. Now, the King of Fighters 15 looks good. It does not look bad. But again, this is going to come out after Street Fighter 6. And even though myself, I don't really care that much about graphics and I, and I care more about the stories and, and the gameplay. But if Fatal Fury is to succeed and is to compete with Street Fighter 6, it also needs to be able to do so on the graphical aspect. The second thing I want to talk about is single player content. Now, King of Fighters 15 is amazing. I love that game so much. It is, I love it for its gameplay. I love it for the characters, for the music. I also love it for the fact that my name is in the credits of the King of Fighters 15, which is an honor I never thought I would have. But it is lacking when it comes to single player content. There's only the arcade mode, which is, you know, a story mode, but it's not really a story mode because it's only an arcade mode, right? With, with endings and, and mid scenes, uh, CGI, uh, etc. It is not what people who focus on single player want. Now, this is the beauty of fighting games. A fighting game could be for people who just want to play online and, and compete and get, you know, like, uh, get the top of the ladder or people just enjoy the game's story and lore like I used to do back in the day and I still enjoy it but I'm playing a little bit more um, competitively now so King of Fighters did not have that Fatal Fury should have that and the good news is uh, Yasuyuki Oda the SNK producer of Fatal Fury and King of Fighters said that there's going to be a lot of single player content and that the market has shifted and that they should, they, they are thinking about, not only they are thinking, the game is going to have an emphasis on the story and the single player content, which is music to my ears because it really needs that. Now, what type of single player content does the game need? Obviously, it needs a story mode. It needs a proper story mode, not an arcade mode disguised as a story mode, but an actual story mode. Think of the NetherRealm Studios Mortal Kombat games and their story extensive story modes. Think of 
I'm gonna say it, I know you're not gonna agree with it, but the Street Fighter V story mode, it was not a great story, but it's not the story mode that was the problem, it was the story and writing itself. So we need some sort of story, extensive story, and an extensive mode that allows people to connect with these characters, learn the stories, and play and learn the game. Uh, the uh, world tour from Street Fighter VI looks phenomenal, I can't talk about it yet because I haven't played it, but that's absolutely a step in the right way and i hope snk is gonna do something similar not the world tour mode specifically i'm not a big fan of create your character but something that allows us to experience and learn the story of Fatal fury now this is going to be a sequel this is not a reboot of the series and the first Fatal fury came out in 91 and the last one came out in 2000 or 99 so there's a big gap people were born after that that are now fans of this series and they need to be brought up to date and again luckily snk is doing something about it we don't know what that is but they said that they're thinking oda san himself said that they're thinking about a way to bring everyone up to speed within the game learn the story of these characters so that you know what's happening before jumping into the game i cannot wait what that could mean the other thing and the third thing that this game absolutely needs is a clear post-launch timeline. SNK needs to have a proper timeline on what's gonna happen after the game releases. DLC characters are great and we definitely should have them and we probably will, but not only that. The game needs to keep growing. It needs more stages, costumes, different costumes. I am really surprised that the King of Fighters 15 does not have costumes as much as I thought it would have. It does not have stages as DLCs. It's literally money on the table that SNK could be making by selling stages, making stages from the previous games and remaking them into the game engine. Uh, different costumes, look how many costumes, mods, modders are creating for the game. Those are all something that SNK could do and make money out of and will fans will be happy to purchase. So I hope for Fed of Fear we can have that, we can have multiple costumes, stages, even new modes added to the single player experience. More chapters to the story mode. I would love that um, NetherRealm Studios have done it with Mortal Kombat 11 and I would love to see other, other, other companies uh, do that. The last thing I want to talk about is a proper online system, not online netcode because right now we are in the age where every game has rollback netcode and crossplay which is something I never thought I would see in my lifetime but it's here and I am really happy to be part of it. But not only that, we need a system, for example, the King of Fighters 15 has great netcode, right? But people now are only playing in room matches. So what happened to the ranked match? What happened to unranked? Well, that's because I believe that ranked should have a specific system, a way that allows people to come back and play and rank up. Similar to what Street Fighter did with Street Fighter 5 and Street Fighter 4 before it, and Street Fighter 6 is looking even crazier with how people, you know, you have your daily challenges, you have your, your fight money that you get, you have this, this urge to actually keep growing up. And it's a long ladder that you different uh you know it's they even went per character which is amazing so you reach the top level with with character a then you kind of you're gonna go back and play with character b and try to level up the character which is which is amazing i believe snk should do something like that so what do you guys think about this list I, do you agree with me is this something is there something that you think fit of you should have in order to succeed in this day and age leave me all that and more in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort. And being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Tiard, Fahad Aswedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamia, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Jihao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Burned Retinas, Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Danger Man 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making-offs, and other SNK digital goodies. 
link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.